begin. Hey guys, Dartman here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Chrome OS update. And not just one, but three methods of update. Nah, just two methods were good. Two methods I from this I recommend. One is faster. The other one takes a little bit uh, longer, but they are both solid good. The third one, however, is how I like to call it a dumb method. It's there, but I don't recommend it. And also the developers on GitHub don't recommend this. And I will also explain later in the video why. But I put it here so that there will be no confusions in the comments that there is another method and I didn't talk about it. So let's go in Chrome OS and let's begin. So as you can see here, my current version is 93. And if I click on check for updates, nothing happens. It keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and nothing happens. So in order to start with the update, we just open a new tab. And here we search for branch framework. And usually the first link is the one from GitHub, the link that we need. Here we scroll down, all the way down, and click on troubleshooting and support. And again, all the way down until we reach updates. Click on click to learn. And here we have basically the two solid good versions. The first one is the longest one here, but first we're gonna jump in the fast one at byte uh, byte dasher script click on it and this is basically everything that you have to do we start with control plus alt plus t and now the next step shell we type shell and enter and now we copy this command and we with right click you paste it you press enter and then this brcr dash update you can type it or copy it so basically this is it that's all you have to do or then after this you have to wait until the update is done and it will appear a message similar with this one where it says done and then you can close this window and restart your device and then when you reboot in chrome os you will see that it's updated at the latest version However, I will not do this now because I want to show also the other two versions. So we will go back to Sebang's page on GitHub. Okay. And here is also not much to do. First thing that we have to do is download the latest branch release and then download the latest recovery image. This is a warning due to sig significant changes in Chrome OS between the versions 93 and 94. That now the update, uh, basically in my case, I have 93, so I cannot update to 96 directly. I have to update first to 94 and then to 96. If you are on 94, then you can update directly to 96 or whatever version comes. So you, we download the, uh, the latest version. And then we go to cross tech. And here, if you don't know how to find the correct image for your CPU, because here on this page, it shows you based on Chromebooks, not on CPUs or on recovery images. If you don't know how to search for the right recovery image for your CPU, I recommend to watch this video first that I made last week. Here I explain how can you find out if your CPU, first of all, is compatible or not. And if it is, how can you find the right recovery image for it? So I don't need to check it here because I know what, uh, what recovery image I need. I need Ramos. So I will go to um, cross updates serving, I guess it was, yeah. And here I scroll down at Ramos and I choose the version 94. Because like I said, 96 is not good for me at the moment. So I download the version 94 and we wait. Okay, now the download is complete. Uh, we need to extract the recovery image. And I just open 
and I just drag it in the downloads folder. Okay, now that uh, the image, um, the recovery image is extracted, we have to press Ctrl Alt and T, exactly like in the at the first method, and type in shell. And now we copy this command and we paste it with right click. And here we have to replace recovery.bin with the name of our recovery image. So we delete this and we copy this one. Okay, and the same with the branch release. Now we press enter and we wait. That's it. Now you have to restart your device. And next time when you enter in Chrome OS, you will be at the whatever version you updated. Okay, now I restarted my device. And if we check at settings about Chrome OS here, version 94 official build. So this was the second method. And now we're going to check the third, not so great method. Basically for uh, this uh, method, we will enable updates. That means that when you're going to press on check for updates on this button, you will get official Chrome OS updates. Now, the reason why this is not a good idea is because you will update just Chrome OS and not the branch framework. As you can see here, allow native Chrome OS update. Use at your own risk. Chrome OS will be updated, but not the branch framework, which might render your Chrome OS install unstable or even unbootable. So if you have the option, don't use this. I just show it so that there will be no confusion. Okay, to start with this method, like always, we have to press Ctrl, Alt and T to open cross shell, type in shell and put in this command. You can also find it on the web page from at branch configuration menu, uh, sudo edit dash branch dash config. And just paste it here. I will, um, I will leave all the commands for every method in the description so that you don't have to search it on your own but i will also leave the links that you've seen in this video i will leave them also in the, the description maybe you want to uh, check more stuff on your own but you're gonna have all the commands already to use okay so you press enter and this is the group configuration and here you have to modify after options and the equal sign you have to put enable underline updates okay after you pasted or after you typed enable uh, enable updates you have to press ctrl plus o to save it and then to press enter to confirm and you exit by ctrl plus x and then press any key to reboot Okay, guys, so uh, I've updated, update, updated, up, up, up. updated, updated, updated. So I updated Chrome OS and unfortunately I forgot to save the recording. So now I don't have a recording from the updating itself. But as you can see, I'm at version 96. So basically what I did from that moment uh, when I uh, restarted the first time and now is that I went here on check for updates. I clicked, I waited until it went to 100% and then I pressed on restart again and now we are here you didn't miss much but uh, as you can see my background my wallpaper is gone all the apps that i deleted from chrome os are are back basically chrome os is now at hard reset i don't know how to say so yeah another reason why i don't like this method 
and with this i end this video three methods two good that i recommend fast one long one and the third one please don't do it it's not worth it and if you are interested then please subscribe so you won't miss the next video where i will talk about switching kernels if you are have a 10th or 11th gen intel cpu or ryzen 4th gen or higher and also about uh, how can you fix the bluetooth or wi-fi or keyboard or touchpad and so on so if you like the video then please give a, a thumbs up and like i said subscribe it's totally free and it will help me a lot thank you